So let's click on this and maybe we can ask. So here we can see our chatbot is working and giving some helpful answers as well. If that's what an AI chatbot can do, then it can surely take up the human job of a chat support executive for your WordPress website. In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can add an AI powered chatbot on our WordPress website. If that sounds interesting, let's dive in. So we are going to use the AI engine plugin from Meow Apps. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and see how it works. So here we are in our WordPress setup and let's go to the plugin section and install this AI engine plugin. So let's search for AI engine. So here is our plugin AI engine chat GPT chatbot. Let's go ahead and install this now and then click on activate. All right. So now the plugin is installed. We can go to settings from here or we can go to meow apps here and then click on AI engine. Let's click on that. All right, so now the first thing we need to do is to get the API key from OpenAI website. So we can click here and open that in a new tab. So the link will take you to the OpenAI website and then either you can log in or create your free account here. So I already have my account, so I'll click on login and it's going to take you to the API key page or you can use the link here at the left hand side navigation. And here we need to click on create new secret key, enter the name and then it will generate a key for you. I have already created mine, so I will copy that. And then we'll go to settings and here in the open AI service, we will choose open AI and then enter the API key. And if we click anywhere outside this, it's going to save our changes. And now we can go back to dashboard. And here, let's go through all the settings we have. So first we have modules. So we are going to use chatbot. So it's enabled. We have the generators, which are in form of content generator as well as image generator. So it's going to use the open AI's DALI 2 to generate images. But in this video, we are only going to concentrate on text chats. After that, we have playgrounds. So once again, you can disable these if you are only focusing on AI chatbot. After that, we have an option for chatbots. And here the first option is site wide chat. So if you want, we can make this as default so that this chatbot will be available on all the pages of our website. Here we have the chatbot editor. And after that, we have the theme editor as well. So using this, we can edit the theme and look and feel of this chat window here. And after that, we also have a short code that we can use to place this chatbot anywhere on our site. Now let's go down to other settings below this. We have the main settings. So here we have the name, which is right now default and ID is also set on default. The theme is set on chat GPT or we can choose messages as on iOS. So this is how it's going to look, but I would prefer to keep it as chat GPT. After that, we have mode as chat or images. So once again, we will keep it on chat and here we can give a context to this. The default one is converse as if you are an AI assistant, be friendly and creative. So it's going to act as an AI assistant for your WordPress website and it's going to help the visitors resolve their queries. Below that we have visual settings. So here we can give it a name. So let's say we call this Chavez. We can see the name updated here. We have the start sentence. We can edit that as well. We can also edit the text for the visitor name and the placeholder text. And we can also edit the details of button as well. Below that we have AI settings. So I'm going to leave everything as it is. After that we have custom code. So once again, we can copy this code from here and place it anywhere on our website where we want to exclusively add this chatbot. After that we have actions. So just in case you want to duplicate this chatbot or you want to delete this, you can do this from here. Now let's move on to the next tab that is settings. And once again, here we can enter our API key. And after that we have chatbot option. We have the discussion option. So we can keep that enable. We have syntax highlight and we have web speech APIs. So you can play around with all these options. If we scroll down at the very bottom, we have option for security under which we can enter the banned words as well as we can ban the IP addresses. And once we turn on this discussion option, here we have a new tab added. 
So if we go here, here in this, we can see all the discussion happening on our website. And with that, we can train this AI chatbot to act as a virtual chat assistant for our website visitors. Now, along with the chatbot, this plugin also have a feature of content generation. So here on the very top, we have an option for content. If we click here, this will open up a new window where we can give it a topic and this is going to generate a complete article for us. So let's say if we give a sample topic and then click on generate, it's going to take some time to generate the title, sections, content and excerpt. So here we have the generated content, we have the title and various other sections. Personally, I would prefer to use the chat GPT website if in case I need to generate any content. But for the chatbot, this plugin is pretty good. Now let's go ahead and see how it looks in our front end. So here we are on the front end and we have a chat icon here. So let's click on this and maybe we can ask. So here we can see our chatbot is working and giving some helpful answers as well. So this is how we can add AI chatbot powered by OpenAI on our WordPress website. And this is just the beginning. I'm sure in the future releases, we can see a lot more options. Along with that, make sure you watch this video right here to learn more about how you can use AI in WordPress to generate images and text. Let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts about these kind of AI chatbots and how you are going to use it on your WordPress site. Till then, if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with someone in your friends and community. And for more WordPress videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video.